Hello everyone, I have returned. Uh, this is merely a follow-up video to my last video, how to get that relaxed look with natural hair. I have since cut off the remainder of my relaxed hair, which if you look at the last video, is about this much of hair. I cut it off, uh, that was six months ago. So my hair has grown and I've got that length back. Um, I actually currently wish I didn't cut it off because I discovered a new method of just keeping that hair that's on the ends that you think you might need to get trimmed, keeping it looking good. And I'm going to share that with you. Uh, Alright, let's get started. Okay, so this is actually like uh, three or four day old hair. I have been struggling with humidity, having uh, humidity problems. If the humidity was over 30%, which is basically what it is on a normal day, my hair was still frizzing out, I discovered that using a little bit more serum really helps. So before when I said, you know, use a small amount, small amount goes a long way, it does. But you might need a little more. So just keep adding some to find your comfortable level. Um, another thing is I got a new flat iron. Uh, the flat iron I had been using before is this guy. And I think I was using it on 30 degrees in the other video, or I'm sorry, 300 degrees in the old video. Hotter is better. When I started using this on 400 degrees, I noticed um, I got better results. But then I got a new flat iron because I just knew I knew I could do better. I knew I could do better. If the salon could do better, I knew I could do better. So then I got this. If this is a uh, her styler. Oops. I've got the box right here. Check it out. Um, sorry. Uh, this is a her styler. It has one setting, which is um, like 410 degrees, 410 degrees, and it is amazing. It heats up in like 45 seconds, less than a minute. Uh, I recommend if you want to get some curls in your hair, let it heat up for like 5 to 10 minutes so the outside can also be hot. But this thing just, um, it blows my mind. It came with this little travel sack, and it's also, you can put it in there when it's hot, as far as I know. Don't take my word on it and um, catch something on fire. But, I mean, it's just an amazing item. And I think the reason why this one is better than this one is just because the plates are thinner. The thicker the plates in a flat iron, the better. It looks a lot like a, uh, oh, what's that flat iron that's really expensive? It looks a lot like a cheat. Uh, but this thing I got on Amazon at Amazon.com for less than $40 with shipping. I think it was like $38. I would have an exact length, but they're not paying me. So if you want to pay me, shoot me an email and I will promote your product because this thing is amazing. You can also get it on eBay. Um, I first discovered this in, at a mall kiosk. Uh, if you go to your local mall and there's some woman trying to get you to try out the flat iron, this is that exact same product. They will try to make a deal with you and get down to a price of like $100. Like I said, I got this at Amazon.com for less than 40 bucks, and it is amazing. Um, one of the biggest discoveries I've made, and this is pretty silly probably, is using a brush. I like this, it's um, the detachment for my blow dryer. But you can also use something like this when flat ironing your hair. All right, so I'm back. I washed <laughs> this little section of hair in the sink. You guys can look at it. Uh, my hair from about here on, I dig it. I like my curls, happy with it. The hair in the back is a whole nother story. The curls are much tighter. It's a lot more difficult to straighten. Uh, but yeah, this is fun. I like it. It's also longer, so, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to add some Kinky Curly Knot today. Now, I know a lot of you have been saying that you have trouble uh, blow-drying your hair straight, getting your hair straight, as you saw mine um, in the video before. I wasn't using this then, and it is a pain. It is such a pain to comb. It was such a pain to comb my hair after washing it and blow-drying it. But with Kinky Curly Knot today, it is so much easier. Uh, usually I apply some just before I get out of the shower. Ooh, that's a lot. When I wash my hair. But for this, I actually don't really need to add any of this right now because I just had a little bit of hair. But I'm going to add this tiny little speck. Like that. 
take my wide tooth comb. There you go. It makes it so much easier to comb. I got cut off prematurely there, but um, let me share with you what I did. When blow drying your hair, I've got a lot of people asking me, you know, how come, you know, when I blow dry my hair, I get such straight results. Um, I hold my hair while I blow dry it. Like I hold it, I pull it straight. I guess I didn't turn that on. But I pull it straight as I'm pulling it through. Piece section by section, pull it straight, pull it through. Don't just go like this. Don't just use a comb. No, sorry. Don't just use a comb and go through it. Uh, it's good to have a comb attachment and actually pull the hair straight as you pull it through. You'll get straighter results. All right. So now that that's done, I've got some of the silk therapy in my hair or whatever serum it is you're using. There are a lot. You don't have to get the expensive ones. And Kinky Curly Not Today. It's in there also. Oh, you ready for some magic? Ah, uh, you see that? All right, now here comes the my newest trick that I'm so proud of myself for finding. And it's really not that, it's not that big a deal, but it, it's so important. It's so important for getting rid of this, these crazy ends. You take a brush or a fine tooth comb. Now, this comb, the finer the tooth or the brush, the better the results. Using a comb like this, you're not going to get as great a result, you know, because it's not going to separate those pieces. I also really like to use, this is actually my favorite tool to use. This came from my um, hair dryer, and I hardly use it on the blow dry my hair. So I just kind of put the hair in it like this. And I really hope you guys can see this. And it's going to get those ends really straight. Look at that. I'm going to show you that again. See those little slightly frizzled ends? Get out of there. Woo! That's going to give you the straight ends. There you go. Look at that. Now, some of you are watching this video and you're going, man, that is genius. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was so happy to find this, or to figure this out. I don't know. I mean, it seems like an obvious thing, like I said. But, yeah, the finer the tooth comb um, or brush, you want to use a brush. Get that in there. Hold that comb on it. Um, I have a... Uh, I got an instyler, or, yeah, instyler. My sister got the buy one, get one free thing, and she gave it to me. And this is basically, you're doing the same thing. Um, the instyler has brushes on it. That's why it does what it does. The reason why I don't recommend the instyler is because of the metal that it uses. It's not, you know, a, a tourmaline or ceramic. It's just some kind of metal. If it was a tourmaline or ceramic, that thing would be gold, but it's not. So you can get the same effect, only better, using a ceramic iron by just using a brush. Oh, almost burned my ear. By just using a brush, making sure it's in, the hair is in the teeth, and going down it. Same thing, only cheaper and making better sense. Uh, so that's all I have for you for now. Um, the reason why it took me so long to get a video out is because I'm, I wanted to come up with something great to really help people out. But I got a little antsy, and I started seeing some of your comments, and I really wanted to share this information with you as ASAP.